Wow. And it appears that opposition parties in several other African countries have lined up a 20th of March 2023 to launch anti-government protest over various issues. At least four countries, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria and Tunisia, will, be, uh, will see protest in their respective capital cities against their governments. Is it a sheer coincidence or by design? Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Thai reports the story into perspective. On Monday next week, all eyes will be on the Kenya's capital city, Nairobi. As a Zimio leader and opposition chief Raila Odinga leads his supporters for mass demonstrations for what they are terming as the Grand March to Status. The action is in response to the government's failure to address their concerns within the 14 days ultimatum issued on February 22nd, which includes an increase in the cost of living and a demand that President William Ruto resigns. Azimio leaders are currently urging their members to turn out in large numbers for the day. Turns out that this will not be happening in Kenya alone. <laughs> Opposition leaders have planned similar demonstrations against their relevant governments. In South Africa and Moso Pretoria, where Economic Freedom Fighters Party leader Julius Malema has planned a national shutdown in a bid to pressure President Cyril Ramaphosa to resign. The EFF is unhappy over the ongoing electricity crisis again. The plan is to lead the march to the union buildings to force Ramaphosa out of office. We don't want to be told that we'll get land in 2030. We don't want to be told that we'll get jobs in 2030. We want jobs now. We are hungry now. We want to eat now. <laughs> In Nigeria, focus will be Nabuja, which is the capital city, where Nigerian presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar is expected to lead supporters in a peaceful protest over the Electoral Commission's handling of last month's disputed vote, which the commission says was won by the ruling party candidate, Bola Tinibu. Atiku and senior members of the opposition People's Democratic Party will march to the offices of the Independent and National Electoral Commission in their federal capital, Abuja, where they will also hand in a petition. The INEC and the APC decided to select who they wanted. That was not an election. That is why we're here today. And in Tunisia, anti-government demonstrations are likely to take place in Tunis as the nation observes its Independence Day holiday. The day commemorates Tunisia's independence from France in 1956 and is often an occasion for major rallies and anti-government protests in the country. The protests are against the president, Kai Said's dissolution of parliament and planned amendments to the constitution. Tunisia also has a history of organizing large gatherings on days of historical significance, including holidays and the anniversaries of prominent political events. Whether the demonstrations are happening as a coincidence or by design, then the ongoing trend should send a warning shot to the African regimes that all is not well. Chris Dairo, KTN News, Nairobi. All right, and uh, these uh, anti-government protests